rather than talk about all the successes, the point that Susanna made is surely a very important one, isn't it? Here we have well, Theresa May, who is expecting us to vote for her in three days' time, who, when she was Home Secretary, presided over a, a draconian, savage succession of budgetary cuts with the police, reducing numbers by 20,000, dramatically reducing our armed police as well. And when she was... No, she didn't do that. That's not true. That well, is not true. So the is. number... OK, well, to clarify then, do we have more or fewer armed police now than we did in 2010? We have protected the counter-terrorism budget, which meant that specialist, specialist officers have do been we protected. Have... And we have increased in real me. terms. But, but you let's well, wait go a minute. back you, to no, the Wait point. a minute. You challenge me. So let me just ask you. you we said are that recruiting you said... more do we, specialist do we, officers. Let me ask you a very simple question. Do we have more or fewer armed police than we had in 2010? We have protected counter-terrorism policing... Do we have so more we have or fewer armed increase, police than we had increase, in 2010? An increase in the, in the budget for counter-terrorism policing. But let's go back to Saturday night. No, can you eight please minutes, just answer the question, minutes, please? You challenged me when I said that there had been minutes, a cut in armed police. I'm simply... I, asked, on, I would like to ask you one more time. I, I want a straight. You. I want a straight answer. Do we I have more or fewer? Do we have more or fewer? I will try one officers. more time. Do we have more or fewer armed police than when Theresa May became Home Secretary in 2010? We more have or less? seen a protection and an increase in the budget for counter terrorism policing. Do we have policing? more or fewer sure armed there police are more than we had in 2010? Police officers on the street. Why can't you answer Looking a straight question? And Minister, making sure with the respect, that we review our counter terrorism With the greatest strategy. of respect, we need to feel secure in this country in the knowledge that whoever's in government after Thursday has a clue about what is happening. Either you don't want to confront the reality of police cuts, either you don't know I think whether armed you're police... being too simplistic in suggesting that it's just about the number of police officers. There will be many who argue that Theresa May's cuts mean she now has the blood of our civilians on her hands. What worries me about you is that you, even when asked a simple question about whether the number of armed police in this country has gone up or down since Theresa May became Home Secretary seven years ago, you don't answer that question, either because you're embarrassed by the answer or you simply don't know. Which one is it? The number of specialist officers and the counter-terrorism budget has been protected and has increased in real terms. Just finally, do you know if the number of armed police in this country has gone up or down in the last six years? Do you know Here's, the answer? I, what I'm interested in is making sure that we have the right resources, the right powers and the right training and capabilities. I am assured by the police that they have that to deal with the counter-terrorism threat, uh, but we need to look, learn lessons and make sure that we act where appropriate. And we need a leader who is prepared to take those decisions, and that is Theresa May. Is there any reason why you can't answer the question? Piers, we are here to talk about how the uh, attack on Saturday, how we react to that attack and how we make sure on Thursday that we have the right person elected to Downing Street so that we can deal with it. So you just don't want to answer? Piers, we are here because on Thursday there is a general election and in that general election there'll be a very, very clear choice. There'll be a clear choice between Theresa May, a woman prepared to take the difficult decisions, or Jeremy Corbyn, whose track record is quite clear. He votes against every uh, power that the police and security services say they need. He is not prepared to back shoot to kill. He is not prepared to even admit whether he would push the, uh, the button, uh, the nuclear deterrent, if a bomb was coming to this country.